Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is just a really quick little video to show you how I work with these slightly more obscure sort of fashion type yarns. I don't really know how I'd describe it. They're sort of, it's the yarn you buy because it's like amazingly soft. And then you get it home, you're like, oh, look at this. It's like soft like a teddy bear. And when it comes out of the ball, it's like this sort of really thin, I don't know if you can if you can see that really thin sort of weird sort of yarn. It's almost impossible to see off stitches. Um, it's just a total nightmare to work with. So recently I showed a picture because um, I do love this yarn. It is super soft. And I showed a picture on my social media of this scrap blanket I'm working on. So it's rather large at this point. Um, using the um, softy yarn and a couple of people who asked me how on earth are you working with that stuff it's a total nightmare so I just wanted to show you just something you can do um, if you have this sort of fashion-y type yarn and you want to crochet with it but it's proving a nightmare this is how I have made this sort of very large really really soft snuggly it almost feels like a fleecy blanket type blanket <laughs> I'm rambling okay so what I do is I team it with a strand of just ordinary double knit yarn whatever yarn you want to use so I actually team the two together now this is just a scrap blanket so I haven't really been too careful with the shades of um, gray that I've been teaming it with however it's perfect to show you guys um, exactly how it looks. So if you wanted to just have this sort of fluffiness and not to be able to see the second gray strand, then pick a yarn which is almost the same color as your actual sort of tough yarn that you're working with. So if you didn't want to see these extra gray stitches, you could just pick a color that's super close to the yarn that it is you're using. However, as I say, this is perfect to show you guys what I am talking about. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom my camera in fractionally, and then I will show you how I tackle this sort of weird fuzzy yarn. All right, so we're nice and close now, and it shows my grey double knit yarn that I'm using alongside this sort of weird stringy, it's got no give in it whatsoever, this sort of bizarre fluffy yarn so I team the two together and I pick a slightly larger hook than normal I personally have been using a 6.5 for this one just so it means it's a bit looser and you can see your stitches a bit more clearly so I have been using just half double crochet for this blanket that's all it is rows of half double crochet just because it's an easy, simple stitch. You don't need to think too much about what you're doing. And I've reached the end of my row here. So holding both yarns at the same time, so you can see the difference here in thickness between sort of weird little stringy one and my double knit here. I think, I don't even know what this is. It's just like a random scrap ball. I'm in full scrap blanket mode, <laughs> trying to use up all my various yarns. So to begin the row, I chain two for just my sort of, back and forth half doubles, but you can see I'm holding the two yarns together and treating them as one. And when I turn my work, because it's fluffy and a bit of a nightmare, I can see, because of my dark gray, I can see that this is the top of my last stitch in the row below. So I pop my half double crochet under that one. And because this fluffy yarn, I don't think, oh no, I have caught all four, caught all four loops there. But it doesn't matter massively if you miss them because it is so fluffy, you really can't tell. So I'll just do my half double crochet like that. And then I will grab a stitch marker, which, how I'm prepared my, hold on. I grab a stitch marker and I pop it into that one there, just so you can clearly see the start and end of your rows. And that's it, that all I'm doing is just using the two strands together with a slightly larger hook than normal. And it just means that your stitches are slightly larger so you can really clearly see the gaps that you're going to be putting your hook into. And that's it. So as I say, just a super quick video, 
Um, just to answer the question, um, how on earth are you working with that yarn? This is how. <laughs> Team it with a strand of another yarn and then, oops, get it knotted and then work with the two together. So just hold them together and then you can crochet along. And as I said, if you don't want to be able to see this sort of dark gray that I'm using here, then pick a yarn which matches your sort of odd fashion yarn. And that's it. That's how I crochet with this absolutely gorgeous, really soft, but total git to work with. <laughs> <laughs> absolute nightmare on its own so team it with another strand and you're away and it grows really quickly really quickly and you get this gorgeous heavy fluffy squishy blanket it's actually perfect for the cats dare I say the cats are obsessed with this and you can see the different colors I've used because I really am just using up my scraps this is a darker gray strand running through this one and this is this lighter gray one over here so that's it. I hope that helps. Um, if you're like me and you've got a whole load of this sort of squashy teddy bear-esque yarn in your stash and you don't know how to use it, this is just a quick way to show you how I use it. Happy crocheting!